What up world, it's me Brizzy and today I am finally going to be showing you my Animal Crossing Island. Now, finally, that, that none of you are probably even playing Animal Crossing anymore. <gasps> Whoops! But I'm still playing. I never stopped. I currently have over 680 hours in this game and that's just on my main account and I have not time traveled once. Why do I put myself through this? I don't know, but it has given me such meaning. <laughs> the past few months to put this together and build on it in real time day by day with zero time travel uh yeah it is 5 a.m in real time right now that's why my voice is so tired um because i have never seen my island at five o'clock in the morning i have seen videos of other islands where the light is really pretty and i want to see how my little witchy enchanted forest harry potter ish cottage quarry themed island looks at five in the morning. I've never seen it that way, so I thought we could experience it together today. Let's get into it. I flew to a random island just so I could show you. The first thing I'm proud of about my island is this beautiful flyover. And wow, in the 5 a.m. light, it is even more beautiful. I'm gonna be extra dumb and emotional right now because as, as the screen just told you, it is, uh, what, 4.59? Um, 5 a.m. <laughs> so there was a little sneak peek at what is to come, but let us show you the island of Lumos. Oh, my day is restarting because <laughs> it just turned 5 a.m. It's fine. I'm just going to run through Isabel's stuff and then I'm going to I'm gonna speed run to the front of the airport because I feel like we should start at the airport entrance. But at least you got the flyover. <laughs> and here we are. We just stepped out of the airport to the island of Lumos. And here is the beautiful island flag of Lumos, handcrafted by yours truly. Heavily inspired by another design I, I found on the internet of a purple shooting star. I made maybe two of the custom designs on my island. Um, I will link to my designer code in the description and I will link to as many of the other QR special designer codes as I can. Some of them I collected in the early days of Animal Crossing and did not know to save my source because I did not know I would lose it, but I will link to as many of them as I can. This is Lumos. This is Lumos. This is my little uh, enchanted forest entryway. I have not time traveled, but I have taken advantage of my friends who time travel or friends who simply have islands in the southern hemisphere. So I've gotten my hands on some beautiful mushrooms. But let's um, get started on the tour and uh, walk on into Lumos. Oh, look at those beautiful trees. Let's cross the bridge and you see the um, the beautiful statue, uh, the, um, the valiant statue, I guess I should technically call it because there is a beautiful statue and that's not it. So this is our main plaza area with the beautiful rainbow flower surrounding it. My brain's not working very well. This blue rose is the, the first blue rose I ever did craft. And by craft, I mean breed myself. I started in April and I, I, I finally got my first blue rose, I think on Saturday, which was July something. My brain's not working. Let's move on to the shopping district. I tried to find a balance on my island of natural and also organized and functional. I wanted everyone to know where to go if they arrived just to go shopping. So Nooks and Abel's are right next to each other in the front. They got a nice sit bench waiting area and they both got backyards. The loom, oops. No, 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 not Aquamenti. It's not raining, you fool. Switch back into your mushroom realness. We've got the loom where they work on their new hottest styles. The, uh, the sewing machine. Shaved ice for some reason to chill out behind Nook's cranny. But let's move on to the residential area. The residential area is probably the least exciting area of my town. So we're just gonna rush on through it. I'm, I wanted to keep everyone's yards nice and organized so I could immediately tell uh, who was home to, you know, go get the DIY and stuff, but everyone has a little bit of something in their yard, <laughs> although nothing too exciting. Oh, I didn't show you who lives on my town. They're not going to be out right now because it's 5 a.m. So let me show you the map real quick of Lumos. Parts of it I'm very proud of. Um, other parts of it just look real dumb. <laughs> 
I will have you note that on the top left we have uh, the Star Pond, a very beautiful sight to see if you visit Lumos. And on the top right is Mount Moon, where my house is located. It is shaped like a crescent moon. It's the first thing I terraformed on this island. Quite proud of it. Lily, Anka, my favorite. She is my absolute favorite Animal Crossing villager of all. Lucky, my second favorite. Puddles, who can go? We're ready for her to leave. Goldie, Bon Bon, Fauna, she's brand new. Audie, she's been there since almost the very beginning. Sherb, and Butch, he is brand, brand new. So let me show you their yards. It's really nothing special, so I'm just gonna kind of rush through it. Goldie, she's got lots of gold stuff because she's gold. Audie, she's a very beachy girl. She's just got a very, a standard beachy touristy vibe. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them I have sorted into Hogwarts house. Sherb is obviously a Ravenclaw, obviously. Anka, my fave, of course, has the most beautiful yard with beautiful art. Up here, Fauna's yard could use some work. Uh, bon Bon's yard could use some work. We've got a nice little place just to, you know, fill a bucket of water or uh, play some pan pipes if you wish. <laughs> Butch's yard it needs the most work because he is brand new. Hey, that's kind of mostly just leftover yard from Cranston. Lucky's yard is flawless. What can you say about Lucky's yard other than it's flawless? While we are here, I might as well show you the Forbidden Forest, yes. Yes, we have the Forbidden Forest. This, this forest would be full of black flowers, but here we have the Forbidden Forest. And oh, what is that? Oh, it's Acromantula, it's a giant spider, oh no! If you'd like to get your fortune told, you can do so at this booth. Over here we have the graveyard. Oh no, oh no, I fell, I fell, I fell into the grave. Oh no, get out. Oh, you gotta be careful, it's kind of cursed there. Here up on the lake, the pond up here, you have a Patronus. That is not lit because it is 5 a.m. so all of the lights are off. But I will show you some clips of my island's prettiest spots at night just so you can have an idea of how beautiful some of these spots can be at night. And let's walk on by that divination area there. I'll show you that in its proper space when we run over here to the campsite. Here is the entrance to the campsite. It used to be a glorious glitched waterfall entrance where you magically jump through the wall, but now it's just a hidden tree entrance. And here we are in the campsite. Oh, look at that view. Can you even handle this view? I am quite proud of this, this little screenshot I've, I've set up. And yes, my second villager who is uh, merely <laughs> named campsite, <laughs> They're named campsite is here because I just I just wanted a second tent here and also a second person to buy from Red when he ever visits, which is never, but inside we've got a wee bit of Horcrux hunting. Just come here to, uh, you know, inspect the locket there. I, of course, stole this idea from someone else on the internet. I've watched hours of island tours online, so feel free to steal from my island. I, I meant to go over this spiel of if you have not spent um, over 600 hours on your island, this might be overwhelming and intimidating and you might be like, oh, I just wanna throw away my island and never visit it again. But remember that I don't have a life. I spent too many hours on this, too many. And it was just one little piece at a time and if you run up the stairs from the campsite you find the star pond you can go up the one of the only places that you'll need a ladder to get to is the divination area um but you do need a ladder and i'm sorry but my dear you have the grim okay <laughs> let's go down back down the cliff and let me show you one of the first beautiful areas that i crafted that i'm quite proud of um, oh, what I meant to tell you about that campsite area is that I, I stole it. I stole the idea from someone on the internet, and thus I give you permission to steal all these things from me in return. Most, if not all, of my beautiful design areas. Not all. Not all. But most of my little microenvironments I stole from someone else on the internet. Here we have a stargazing area. Let's put on our beautiful stargazing outfit shall we? And so when the stars come, meteor showers come at night, you come here and you wish upon a star in these 
beautiful area where the moon disappears when you <laughs> tilt it forward. Um, let's move on. Let's wear our cute witch outfit. Yeah, she's a cute witch. Look at her. Uh, you hop on over back to the secret entrance from whence you came. And we run back down. Okay. Now, um, let's just show you some of the beach, shall we? First, let's show you the most unfinished beach. Oh, here's just some ruins. Just some ruins on the beach. We've got lots of work to do here. Let's pick up that DIY that's not supposed to be here. Back here. Oh dear, what is this? We have Dobby's grave. I saw people on the internet do it, so I had to do it myself. But I did make this Dobby um, design myself, so you can download that from my creator code if you would like. Uh, of course, it's gotta have the sock because Dobby is free. Here, if you'd like to do some some washing. You can do some washing with some nice salt water. You know, that always gets your clothes nice and clean. Almost all of the items that I have out that are interactable, you can get to them, which was very important to me that, that most, if not all, of the little places to sit or little things to interact with, you can get to. And you have to sacrifice a lot of aesthetics to um, pull this off, but it is doable because I made it happen. Here we got just a little relax zone on the beach. You continue walking down this beach, you find a nice little place to read a book next to a creepy doll. Why wouldn't you? Up here, we have a lovely little painting area. You hop on over here and you can do some painting of the lighthouse. As you'll notice, the, the easel there shows my lighthouse. Another idea stolen from the internet. I took a screenshot of that lighthouse, uploaded it to the little AC pattern maker, and put it onto an easel. Here we have the dog park for the villagers. Is this cottage core? I don't know, but it fits into, you know, the the residential area, which is not very cottage core. It is very organized and, and suburban. Um, but I love dogs, so it's worth it. Uh, let's continue with the beach. You'll find a beautiful sauna. Three little saunas to uh, check into. Oh, I, I guess, you know, we should get dressed for the occasion, shouldn't we? It's spa day, baby. Let's go to the spa. <laughs> and just have a nice relaxing day by the beach. There's three of them to choose from, so you know, there's never a wait. We got some money trees here. <gasps> I don't think I've caught this bug before. This shiny beetle looks new. Please don't fly away from me. Uh, oh my! <laughs> Why does this always happen to me with the new ones? I hate everything. I hate everything. Let's move on. Whew, let's move on. Let's go back to our mushroom outfit. That was not giving us any bad feelings. Um, we've got a duck over there. We've got some haphazardly built cliffs with random things on them. They need some work. But down here, something I am proud of is our beautiful pottery area, put some some clay together, um, maybe make a nice vase in the end. Yes, you can walk through all of these stools and get to them. Once you're finished with your piece, you can throw it in the, the kiln to, um, what's the word? Seal it? I don't, I don't know. Uh, wash your hands when you're done. Very important whether you are doing pottery or not. But then we'll move on to the coconut palm tree um, farm that is here. It is here. Oh my God, Gullivar! This is the first time I've seen him. It is very exciting, but we'll get to him later today when it's not 5 a.m. Here we just have a nice little writing on, with fireside on the beach area. Up here we have cute little baby mushroom farm because I love my mushrooms. I wish it would actually grow me more mushrooms in July, but alas, that's not happening. We've got some more enchanted forest over here. This is probably the most underdeveloped area of my island. This is just a blank beach. I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. It's got a lot to work on. And here we've got a um, little fresh sushi area. Is sushi um, witchy and enchanted forest? On theme, probably not, but sushi is my favorite food and I needed it in my life. So you've got a nice sushi chef up here to make you some fresh sushi. 
um, that was picked up right off the pier here. Another one of the, the newest additions to my island that needs a lot of work still is my gay duck wedding next to Heart Pond where two male ducks are getting married. Okay, here is one of, one of my favorite parts of my island is the antique beach market. Yes, uh, we got a nice little gong that's for you chase crossing a little rocking horse a little bit of uh, wardrobe options here you could even change clothes here if you wanted to but we don't we're serving some nice cottage core mushroom witch realness should we go up here yeah we'll go up here and show you a nice little puzzle on the beach also you can catch some more fish and grill them yourself at this fire pit just lovely just lovely over here we have the spooky ruins. Ooh, some spooky ancient ruins. Um, up here we have, this is the library beach cafe. May I take your order? Let's walk in, shall we? If you would like to have a sip of coffee on this fine 5.21 a.m. morning on Lumos, uh, read a book while you listen to some live entertainment from the open mic slash live band that is here. You can play a little toot 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 on the uh, saxophone or you can play a little on the organ. And uh, yeah, that's a little beach side uh, library open mic cafe. <laughs> All right, let's run down the beach real quick to show you the next section. Okay, and here we are back at the plaza. If you come down here, we got the nice, the, oh, why am I still wearing my cafe uniform? How embarrassing. Let's go back to our cute little mushroom witch realness. Here we've got her nice little DIY farm. Get your, your farm fresh DIYs. This is just where my friends can come pick up free DIYs. And over here, We've got the garden. Here are my super mega hybrid roses. They look like normal roses, but these were actually very, very hard to breed and they have a one in four chance of producing a blue rose when and if they breed. So I don't have the heart to get rid of them because it took so long to make them, even though I have normal blue roses now. Anywho, over here, over the little bridge, we have the lavender farm. Look at her. She is so cute. We love her. So if you would like to take a little nap in your lavender farm, um, that's something you can absolutely do. Oh, I'm proud of her. She's gorgeous. Oh, come on. And over here, we have a little bit of a strange thing, but um, a little field of blue and white flowers to lie in and just take a little nap at five in the morning, as you do. These are most of the blue roses I have to my name and I am very proud of them. Do not touch them, they are my children. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Down here, if we walk up the side of the plaza, we'll find the little baby outdoor library um, where you can study the academic painting, sip some tea, read a book with a friend. Or up here, my little uh, piece de resistance, I feel like my favorite part of my island might be my fairy circle. I love her a lot. Yes, I moved my rocks with zero time travel. It was a process, okay, but wow, with butterflies in it too. She's so beautiful. What is that stick bug? I do not have that stick bug. Please tell me this one is not going to disappoint me. We're gonna swing the net faster this time. Creeping, creeping, creeping. Catch it. Oh my God, but butterfly, are you kidding me, tiger butterfly? Wait, it hasn't, let it go, let it go. It hasn't flown away, it hasn't flown away. There's still time. Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh wow. So yes, this is this is my beautiful, glorious rock garden fairy circle that I love so dearly and spent so much time on. And I love her so much, so please be nice and tell me she's pretty. If we walk through here from the fairy garden, we have the baby bear birthday party. I don't know which one's birthday it is. Uh, you can help me decide that. Cute little birthday party where you can just have some cake. 
with your baby bears, because why wouldn't you? Up here we have one of the museum entrances. I made a hedge maze for my museum entrance. Is that extra? Perhaps, but it's really just a glorified sculpture garden with some beautiful art on display and uh, a few dead ends and trixies, but in general, very, very simple maze. But we run up here and we are at the museum. She's beautiful and grand as heck. You can't even see most of it without uh, the camera because it's so large. I, this is one of the first things I built on my island. I kind of feel like I overdid it. I feel like I should scale it down somehow, but I haven't figured out how. Bunch of fossils around the edge to look at uh, before you walk into the museum. In the back, you can chill on some benches or if you are properly authorized, you can step on back here to the dig site where there is a T-Rex fossil that does that. There's a bunch of stuff back here that's just being studied by the scientists. And we'll climb back up and let's exit the maze the opposite way. We go down from the waterfall again, go around here, and oh, you think you could get here, through here, but no, the statue's in the way, oh no. There's another asteroid in the way there, so you have to go around. Um, this is one of the exits, hop over those rocks, and another one of the exits is here, next to the forest. And if we run down here, cross the bridge, we will find ourselves at the Lumos Bakery! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lumos Bakery! Will you have a cupcake this fine morning? Early, early, early morning? This is a cash register, not a typewriter. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, my friend here, standing next to the oven, will uh, get some, some hot fresh cakes out the oven for you. Um, if you would like to make some coffee, there's, there's a little coffee grinder here because why not? That is the Lumos Bakery. And yes, it's still fully functional. Yes, you can still sit at all the seats because we do not sacrifice functionality for aesthetics here on Lumos. No, we do not. I'm exaggerating. I'm self-righteous. It is totally okay to sacrifice functionality for aesthetic if that is what you prefer. Let's change back into some normal witchiness real quick. And up here we have one of my favorite parts of the island is the orchard, which starts out actually with our little sheep farm. You can play with them, you can nap with them, or you can just move on to the orchard where we've got the blueberry farm. Yes, blueberry is my fave. And of course, the kind of more modest, scaled down version of a tree uh, orchard. It's only three of each, because really, that's all I figured I needed. Back here, we have some strawberries um, growing. Definitely not red pansies. I, I don't know what you're talking about. These are strawberries. Oh, what is this? Secret entrance behind the pear tree, too! <gasps> Our ritual beach, yes. Everyone I take here gets scared and thinks I'm gonna be sacrificing them. I don't know why. This is just where we try to summon Red so that he will actually come to visit the island for once. Up here, just a nice little picnic area with some fruits from the orchard. You can get some sewing or some reading done. And I believe that is it except for my house and Mount Moon. Let me just go ahead and creep up towards my yard, which the whole of Mount Moon is just, this is this is my house, this is where I live. Uh, but to get there, you must walk through um, this, this little field of black flowers, the wishing well, um, nice little greenhouse here, and my little baby farms. Here we just got a, a little bunch of various little baby farms. We still got a few turnips here, another little baby mushroom farm because I could not resist. And um, here's my little house. My little witchy house in the woods on the cliff side. In the backyard, we've got the little uh, witchy cliff and a little view of the lighthouse back there with some nice perspective to make it look bigger than it actually is. Here we are at the last stop of our tour my home. Let's go inside, shall we? And now I would like to welcome you home. Yes, welcome, my child, to the home of Brizzy on Lumos. This room, uh, I don't have a great explanation for it other than uh, some magic stuff happens here. 
<laughs> you can talk to this guy. This guy flies. That's fun. But you know, it's been a long tour. We've been on our feet a while. Uh, you might have to go to the bathroom. To get in, you have to talk to Boris the Bewildered here. That You have to say the password, which is Pine Fresh. And then he'll let you in. And up we go to the bathroom. First, let's dress appropriately. There we go. Do you get it? We've got a golden egg here. We've got mermaid stained glass. We've got a beautiful, like, fountain tub with many different faucets. Do you get it yet? Huh? Huh? That's right, this is the prefect's bathroom, baby! We peeing in style today! The most beautiful bathroom I've ever seen, and I'm very proud of it. Thank you very much. And now on to the rest of the rooms, which have a bit more of a theme. You uh, have washed your hands. Let's pick up a light snack, shall we? In the Hufflepuff kitchen! Yeah! That's right, my version of the Hufflepuff common room, which is, you know, by the kitchens, has been combined with the kitchen. We've got a house elf there, cutting up some, some foods. <laughs> and yes, this cramped, Crazy Kitchen is actually still all uh, accessible and interactable and functional. Um, the only thing in here I think that you can't um, interact with is the toaster back there, which yes, is very disappointing, but we do make some sacrifices here. Now let's go back to the next room. If you're feeling brave, past this red crest door plate, can you guess? The Gryffindor common room, yes. Yes it is, and look at all their uniforms on the wall, that Quidditch robe. Yes, big old Quidditch trophy, of course. This quaffle, not a football, it's a quaffle, all right? They're jocks, you know? <laughs> But also, they're not dumb jocks. They still like chess, or some of them do. But yes, this is my little Gryffindor common room. But if you found yourself turned off by that room particularly, perhaps you're a wee bit more of a Slytherin. And you belong down here in the dungeons. Creepy, crawly, uh, Slytherin common room here. Yeah, we have the cyber walling in here because I figured the Slytherin common rooms are under the lake. Uh, so I, I figured it's kind of like, ooh, some, some water showing through the walls. I, that makes no sense. The walls aren't leaking, but that was my kind of intention. It's kind of lake lit atmosphere in here. Now let's just go ahead on upstairs to the final room. The Ravenclaw common room. You know I had to do it. Look at this. Oh gosh, this is, as one might guess, my favorite room of the house. Uh, again, fully functional. Sit in any of the couches, do any of the homework, play some chess, exercise that brain as one must as a good Ravenclaw. Oh, I didn't, I didn't change into my Ravenclaw outfit. We are ready with our wit beyond measure. Let's go, baby. I, I've got a bed here for um, Remus, but also it's 5 a.m. and looky there, it's a bed for me. <laughs> Cause I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night trying to get this ready. So I, I think I'm gonna go back to Thank you so much for coming with me on this tour of Lumos. I had a lovely time showing you around. I really hope it wasn't intimidating to you or, or made you feel bad about your island. Really, this just means I have no life, really. I've spent almost 700 hours on this game since March, so don't feel bad. Uh, I should feel bad. I am going to go ahead and jump into bed and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video.